In today's video, I'm going to show you how to feed a Mexican black king snake. And I'm going to show you all the way from baby to adult. With baby MBKs, I would recommend feeding them a pinky mouse every five days. That's because they digest in around 48 hours and then poop, and they get those three days off, and then they can feed again. Now, baby MBKs tend to not grow fat when they're younger, but tend to just grow faster and longer. You can carry on with this feeding pattern as they grow and get closer to adulthood, and then slowly working your way to reducing it to every seven days rather than the five days. During this time, you're increasing the size of prey item alongside with the growth of the snake. In a study published in 2011, researchers that were looking at juvenile eastern black king snakes found that they actually grew on average 2.3 centimeters a month and then that actually slows down towards adulthood to a full adult only growing 1.4 centimeters a month. This isn't Mexican black king snakes but it is a similarly related species that we can draw comparisons from. As you get to adulthood in a Mexican black king snake you can be feeding them every 10 days. King snakes have a higher metabolism compared to like boas or pythons so they need to eat quite regularly. The individual snakes metabolism as well as the time of year and reproductive states and all that good stuff need to be taken into account. So I would recommend using my 7 to 14 day pendulum. Now the baseline being one suitably sized item every 10 days just for maintenance of the snake's body and just feeding in general then if the snake's getting a little bit too fat a little bit chunky then i would extend that to 14 days just so it's getting a little bit longer and if it's still quite chubby and it's not really losing the weight and leaning out in the way that you'd like i would change down a size of prey item so if you're at a point where you're feeding like an xl mouse every 14 days maybe go down to a large or even a medium now on the reverse side if your snake's being fed every 10 days on a suitably sized item and it's charging forward and come towards you looking for food and it's acting crazy hungry or it's unusually biting more for some reason than it normally does then I would then take it down to seven days because you might find that if that animal is maintaining its weight and it's not changing but it's acting really hungry then that animal might have a higher metabolism than others of the same species. It's all about individuals or for example you have a reproductively active female king snake that's developing follicles and is going to lay eggs then you can be feeding on that seven day schedule because now in this state it has higher caloric requirements or if the animal needs to gain weight post or pre brumation or any medical reason so i like to pendulum between these sort of angles and i think that serves my king snakes quite well again i'm providing this as a baseline for you this isn't a hard rule set in stone you shouldn't be taking things as gospel use this to get you started Started, then what you can do is work out what you want to do from there but this is something that get you on a good track to make you feel comfortable and get along with your Mexican black king snake. If you like these type of detailed king snake videos then there's way more on this channel and there's a whole lot more coming so if you like those types of videos subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.